Hello, and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to look at runtime exceptions in Java. So far, we've looked at checked exceptions, and there are two kinds of exceptions in Java. Checked exceptions are the kind that you're forced to handle, that you have already seen in the previous lecture. But there are also exceptions that you don't have to handle, that you're not forced to handle. And these are called unchecked exceptions or runtime exceptions. An example of them would be division by zero. So let's say you've got an integer here. Let's say int value equals 11. And let's say value equals value divided by zero. This compiles, so I'm not forced to handle an exception here. However, it throws an exception. So if I run this, it's gonna give me an arithmetic exception, which it's a child class of runtime exception. And runtime exception, like all exceptions, is a child class of Java Lang exception. So runtime exceptions and any of its child classes don't force you to handle them which is why we don't have to put a try catch in here. And runtime exceptions are things that are really serious. They are fundamental errors in your program. So if you've got a runtime exception, it's something that your program is unlikely to be able to recover from. And for that reason, it doesn't even force you to catch it. If your program is throwing runtime exceptions, then there's something really seriously wrong with it, which you should have addressed. An example would be a null pointer exception. I will say string empty without saying empty equals new string or empty equals some kind of text. Now I will call a method of string like empty.length. Let's put here sysout empty.length. Now this isn't going to compile. It is going to say that text is not initialized, but if I set empty equal to null now, the compiler says, okay, you have initialized empty with something, but I still can't call a method on it because all I've got here is a reference that points to nowhere. I don't have an object that contains actual code to implement this length method. So if I run this, I'll get a null pointer exception. There is one more example I'd like to show here, and that is array out of bounds exception. Let's create an array of strings, and I'll call this array numbers. I'll initialize this to 1, 2, and 3. Now, there are three strings in this array, and we start numbering the different values with index zero. So if I say sysout numbers, and I try to access item number three, so this is item zero, this is item one, and this is item two. So if I try to access numbers three, I get this array index out of bounds exception, which again is a runtime exception. I'm not forced to handle it, but nevertheless, it occurs, just like null pointer exception and arithmetic exception. This is pointing to a really fundamental problem in my program, which my program is not able to recover from. Therefore, you should always fix your code when you have runtime exceptions. You should not try to catch them even thought you could, because they do generally point to fundamental flaws in your program, which you really need to fix. That is how we came to the end of this lecture. You can find this code in the resources section. And until next time, keep practicing.